Hey sports fans and Bills Mafia. Usually I do videos like this with my partner, but obviously he couldn't make it right now because I do sometimes I do it really early, so he's probably caught up with stuff because he's a New York Giants fan. But here's my recap of the Buffalo Bills uh, draft. I think it was a very good draft to be honest with you, especially the first pick. Because like I said in the last videos, Bills definitely needed more offensive weapons, which they really they lost a lot last year from injuries. Players got older, they lost Beasley, and then he came back. They brought John Brown back. That tells you they didn't have too many weapons. They had no main weapons, especially in the red zone. Now they got a red zone threat who could stretch the field, who could line up in the slot. So I've already covered Kincaid. But uh, the other thing that, you know, the other team needs, because the Bills' offensive line has struggled. And I keep thinking every time they do this, especially getting guards, it means they're going to want to run the ball. So me and my friend talked about it because, Maybe they're not running the ball as much because they don't think they're able to open up the holes. I'm like, yeah, that could be. Maybe they see something in practice. Plus, the running backs, for some reason, were fumbling last year. So maybe they can clean all that up. I'd rather see the Bills run the ball more effectively because it changes everything, passing lanes and everything. So maybe a plus pass protection, you know, maybe bring, bring in the guards. Yeah, one was a second-round pick. I forgot the other one was like, uh, I think it might have been like a fifth-round pick or something. I can't really remember. But they also got another linebacker. They also got another receiver, which I'm really happy about that because, you know, like I said, the, the receiver, probably, most likely it's going to be a slot guy because usually when they draft them out late, primarily in special teams for now, like maybe kickoffs, punts, you know, all that stuff, or maybe fill in and add depth. So I really like what the Bills have done in this draft. So I think it was a very good draft because you have to go by team needs. Now the thing is, you know, you only have one round, first round pick unless you trade and get another first round pick. But you got to go for first priority in the first round if, if a play is there. Play was there that the Bills didn't expect, so they traded a couple spots to get him, which I think was a smart move. Because the wide receivers were not a really a first round raid, grade, I'm sorry. So was they really going to help the team's offense? Because they've been struggling in the red zone. They had no problem getting the ball from the, you know, the 20 to the 20, but... Ten yards in, they struggled in the last two years. So now they have a guy that could actually, even though they know probably he's going to get the ball, could still probably get the ball, kind of like Kelsey type. I'm not saying he's definitely going to be like Kelsey, but he's got that ability in the red zone. So I think that was a really good draft for the Bills. They, they address all the team needs. That's all they wanted them to do is no matter where they get these guys, but obviously they need you know, another linebacker. They drafted one last year, but they... Still have to see which linebacker probably will fill in, you know, for Edmonds, which, I mean, I liked Edmonds, but he did a lot of things good, but he did nothing great. He also had a problem, like, when a ball was right there to be intercepted, he would drop it. So, I mean, he did good things, but there's a many times I've noticed he was out of position. So, just give me your thoughts on the Bills. Do you think they had a pretty solid draft? Uh, please leave your comments. Please hit the notification. Please hit the like button, and please hit the subscribe button. And go Bills!